Hey YouTubers, so I am coming at you today to make a quick video about my nails. Um, as you can see, I just posted it on Instagram um, a few days ago, and this, I mean actually, I'm sorry, one day ago, um, and look at my nails. Like, this is crazy. You see this one? It's just chipped halfway. Um, and sorry for the resolution. I'm using my um, my laptop. But look at my pinky. My pinky is chipped, and and then this finger is chipped, and um, my thumb. You guys can see that. So, and mind you, I'm using my my camera from my laptop, so it's not the best um, resolution, but. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened. Um, so I'm gonna let you know exactly what I use because I posted on Instagram um, just a quick short video of the items that I did use, but um, I didn't precisely talk about it and that's why I'm making this video for you now to go over everything that I use. So First, of course, I clean my nails with um, a nail polish remover. And then I applied the Sally Henson Growth Nails Nail. Now, I never had a problem with this. Never. It's just like a, kind of like an oil-based serum type of, um, it's just like a serum. You just put it over your nails, let it dry. Um, and then I applied the bonder. The bonder is really good. I love this thing. I really notice a difference when I use this compared to other base coats because it does make my polish last longer. The only issue that I would say that could be causing the chip of my nails just a day later would be the Orly won't chip. It could either be this one or it could be because um, maybe I didn't let this dry long enough. So my toenails are fine and my toenails for one I did not apply this. So what I'm going to do um, this evening is uh, I'll probably even, maybe I'll just do a test dummy on like this one and I'll go ahead and peel it off now. I'm going to go ahead and start peeling it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one nail and let it, I'm going to apply the Sally Henson Nails Grow Nail and let it dry and then my other nail that chipped, I'm not going to apply it. So those are going to be my two test fingers. And I'll get back at you in another clip in this video to just see which one lasted longer. Because it could be either because I didn't let it dry, that's why it's chipping. Or it could just be maybe for some reason the polish doesn't work well with this. You know, um... Who knows? Or it could be because of the top coat. So let's go ahead. So what my I guess my test would be if they both chip again. It could be because of the top coat because I'm not going to change the top coat. Um, or you know either or either it's this or it's a, it's a top coat. So either or. But um, and then I also just use my cuticle oil by OPI and it smells so good. It smells like um, like strawberries or something. So I use this. Sometimes I'll even be using jojoba oil or coconut oil. Sometimes when I'm oiling my scalp or my face or something like that, it's, the oil is already on my nails. So I will show you in another clip exactly um, my trial and error. So stay tuned for that and check it out in the next clip. All right, so here are my nails. Now, the test dummies was my middle finger. As you can see, it did chip. And then the other test dummy was this pinky. Um, now, mind you, remember the first time it was chipped when um, I applied the Nail Grow Nail by Sally Hansen. But now, as you can see, it's not chipped, okay? Um, the middle finger um, is chipped quite a bit. <laughs> So, and that's the one that had the, um, 
the nail grow and I made sure to let it dry completely and it's still chipped so along with the other one so um what I'll do is I'll do another test and um what I'll do is I'll definitely make sure to use the same Sally Hansen grow nails nail on another base coat because perhaps it works best with another base coat so stay tuned